We are live. Welcome to Willow 2022 episode 1 and 2 thoughts. The yeah, starting with the first episode, this episode is called The Gale. So, spoilers for the movie and yeah, I'll probably be spoiling both episodes even from the start, but I will note when I start talking about episode 2 if that's the one you most care about. Now, let's see. So, yeah, I read on Wikipedia that, you know, Jade and Kit are together. And, you know, I, I wasn't sure if that was going to, like, be the thing from right away. But, yeah, um, I really admire the, which is not something I say that much about. Disney, but they actually, it's on full display, like, you know, first you see them, them fighting, and then it's clear, you know, okay, yeah, these, they're, they're together, they're, they're not really talk. I'm not, obviously, you can be friends with someone of the same sex as you, but they're not really talking, like, they're, they're kind of talking like an old married couple, like, they're, you know, it goes beyond, like, close friends or something. No, no, they, they're like, you know, it's kind of cliche, but yeah, it's true. Like that's, they, they talk the way that people who've been together for a really long time and they have the same issues. So they just keep coming up. That's yeah. I, I quite like that. And uh, let's see, according to Wikipedia, according to Polygon, you know, the relationship between Kit and Jade makes the series the first true franchise on Disney Plus to really center an LGBTQ story. And yes, I know they used the Q word, still not comfortable with using that one as a cishet myself. But yeah, the the that's that's really cool. And I wish that they would take a leap like that in you know, something like Star Wars or Marvel, where like everybody watches, but this is still a franchise, you know, people have been waiting for a sequel to the 1988 movie since, like, 1987, well, no, 1988, at least. So, but, but yeah, from right away, love the diversity on display, and for those who complain, remember, the lead in the first film is a dwarf, the villain is a woman, you know, the, the main, yeah, you have Mad Mardigan in there, and there's a couple other white dudes, of of normal stature, but, ah, uh, crap, I forget if, I really hope I'm not saying something offensive to the, the dwarf community, but, yeah, I, I'm not 100% certain on the, on the, yeah, what, what words to, to use about people, yeah, Mad Mardigan and others are not dwarves, but it's a pretty minority heavy you know especially for its time 1988 and yeah leads a, a dwarf although you know male and, and white but then you have the you know the the main villain is a woman her immediate like the the if i understand at least sorsha is right under her and then like uh gay not a uh, uh, kale right because because the reference to the the Pauline Kale. So yeah, General Kale is like below Sorsha if I understand correctly. So yeah, you know, this is uh, yeah. And Sorsha retells the first film, fills us in on what happened after that before now. And yeah, very badass fight uh, opening. So just yeah, really really the the um, you know, and and yeah. They do the thing where, you know, you're supposed to, because cause the faces are covered, and you're not hearing, like, grunts and such. So we're supposed to think, ah, those are, wow, those are two of the best male fighters in the entire realm, and then off the mask, ah, oh, they're women, you know. Wow. Is it an Aaron Kellerman's contract that she has to remove a facial, face covering, or, like, at, at least the first time we see her, we think that she's one thing, and then she's revealed to be a badass. Because, I don't know. You know what? 
if that's like what she wants to do or or someone wants to do with her thing because I'm just saying three things for Disney and all three of them do because yeah I I I don't know why apparently some people don't particularly like her in I guess I won't mention the first of them because it's it is kind of a spoiler to say but yeah it's not a spoiler to say she is also in you know other than Willow she is in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and yeah I've I've liked her work all across these you know and and it actually yeah the the each time, it's it's at least a slightly different character. Yeah, she's badass. She can take care of business. But there is a bit... You know, the the actual personality is is different for, for each beyond that. Now, but, but yeah, you know, they're really sweet together from right away. And let's see. I quite like, you know, Eric is hunting. I wonder who he's, who he's hunting today. <laughs> like, she just immediately knows, mm, no, he's he's not. He's not out hunting an animal. As a, no, no, he's, he's macking on some girl. And I really appreciate, like, apparently he was, like, at first I was like, oh, don't be lying to this, you know, girl. But apparently he wasn't. Like, he actually, like, maybe, maybe he just, I don't know, I... I don't love that we see him flirt with the the other two women after. Although, I guess it would be even more galling if it was one of those things where he actually the guy actually wasn't flirting, and then the woman you know mistakenly thinks, and then she just won't listen to him on explain. Yeah, okay, it's better that he was actually intentionally flirting with the. But yeah, you know, when he meets her, you know, he actually, yeah, he proposes. Let's see. You know, and, and yeah, they, um, I forget. I, there's way too many names, I'm, I'm afraid. But yeah, the, uh, actually, yeah, um, he's one of the white guys. I, we all look alike, so... The, the, yeah, the white dude comes up to, to Eric and is like, you know, you gotta be presentable. Not covered in dirt and grass. Which does kind of bring attention to how clean he does already look. Like, just, like, I don't know, a couple of leaves in his, his hair, a little, little bit of grass on the... I don't know. I, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like, there's a lot of, a lot of big budget Hollywood productions. They're afraid of showing their stars looking unattractive you know this was also you know yeah uh the spoony one called this out for iron man 3 where it's like you know oh he's been awake for 72 hours and there's like no bags under his eyes his his you know just no nothing just like he looks like he just stepped out of makeup instead and that yeah I, actually, yeah, uh, I gotta get better at doing this for the, for the, I, I really love these two episodes. I, I, there was very little that I did not like about these two episodes. What's that thing on your neck? Ah, uh, I was bitten by a fire moth, which was strange. You sure it wasn't a dove? I really love the wit of the show in these two episodes. For Kit, and only Kit, do I endure this agony. Very sweet. And, you know, Kit, like, leans and says, and, and mouths the words, thank you. Let's see. Huh. Huh. I'm going to have to take this.